Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Don't Draw campaign. This is episode 30. We pick it up from turn 112 in the autumn season of 212. So, uh, this episode we start out with our Emperor seat just named Lü Bu. Uh, it's quite interesting how that change happened. Uh, Lü Bu is one of these characters with their own banners, so when he inherits a faction, uh, they get a different look. Uh, so we're going to continue our uh, movement towards the capital of Wu. Um, they are over here, and we're quite close. Uh, we're going to start things off uh, from north to south again. Uh, we're going to continue our counterattack against Gong Sun Zan. And uh, this army is fully replenished, so we're just going to go on march and try to get as far as we can here uh, as we get around uh, Wu Taishan over here. And we're going to just have them trail behind. And it seems like they're not really defending these areas here. We're just going to cut through here and uh, come down uh, towards uh, Taiwan's iron mine. That's our uh, number one target here. Uh, over here, we're going to pull this army back to protecting Yuan Yao. Uh, he only has this piece of land left now. We also want to just replenish here for a little bit. Uh, before coming out here uh, in Shangdan and then they'll go north to meet up with the army and in our uh, southernmost branch we're gonna send this army out uh, to attack Hedong. Now since we're gonna be moving through uh, enemy territory anyways we might as well do it on March. That way we can get there a little faster. It'll still be at least two more turns I believe so it's a slow advance there. And then in the central plains, uh, Lü Bu is in position to annihilate uh, Huang Zhu. Uh, we can't reach him, that's the only downside here. Uh, he doesn't have much of a force there. We're just gonna get as close as we can. And then we're gonna have them trail after uh, in ambush mode so that they can't get picked off by night battles. Now Liu Dai has a force here that's a little bit annoying. Uh, it's not weak because the general is full health and our farmland actually doesn't have any uh, decent garrison replenished. So we might have to trade this away and say goodbye to 8 units of food. Uh, a little bit sad there. But we can't really lose it for intimidation so Liu Bei might get it back. Uh, we can just trade it back and forth for a while if we really need it. Now let's see, Sun Ren's army. Uh, Dad is not coming over. Uh, we are leaving Zhe Rong's faction to this army. We can actually just delegate this fight right now. They have escaped. So this army, I don't really care about replenishment. We're just going to delegate here. Only lost seven men. Okay. It's a very favorable... Delegate battle there. We'll occupy it. Alright, Zhe Rong is... I believe he's now regionless. Oh no, he still has his uh, starting location. Okay. Maybe he'll just head back then. We can now sign peace treaty with uh, Yuan Shao. We don't have to think about him. We just have to destroy this and then we can try to get a peace deal working. So if Dad doesn't want to come over, we're going to head down towards the fishing port here. We'll get there into... Uh, uh, we'll get there next turn. Good. And over here, we're going to give Liu Bei a new target because they wiped out their old target. We we're going to want them to recapture the city of Luoyang here. Perfect. Uh, Yuan Yao is moving towards his target. And down south... Hmm. Oh, uh, this is for uh, this faction right here. Jia Xu's old faction. Jia Long's old faction. Yeah. Waiting for rebellion. Happening soon. Alright, down south. I'm going to leave this army around to see what they do. And this army with the siege weapon is going to move forward towards the city here. Now we could have them follow and then it would be an easier fight. I want to see how strong this army is right now. 
Okay, it's largely depleted, so maybe we don't need to worry about it. We'll follow behind. Okay. This is our rear guard defending our capital here. They can also take care of whoever sails over in the river, so we're just going to hold them here. We have a f level up here. Where is she? Ah, from this fight. Okay. Well, we're going to give her Tenacity of Steel. And we're going to actually give some gear away here, too, because... Uh, her mother is dead, so she gets her mother's weapon. The war blade can go to a ministrator. There we go. Give her some expertise as well. I'm sure someone can use that jade horse. Okay, all of them have, uh good items what about you oh she's the burned officer she doesn't really count here Fajon can take it all right we also need this satisfaction boost on our leader role, which currently is Lu Bu and Sun Ren so Surin's gonna get a little bit of authority boost and health boost and also give everyone some satisfaction boost. Alright, that's why we lost a lot more satisfaction too. Horses. Tal Ong is on the field, so we're gonna give him this new horse we got. Authority horse. Oh, we got a quite a few horses here. Tal P has a nice horse. Where's Don Mimin? She's just new on the field. There she is. Here, she can have this. Uh, might as well give her this. There we go. Okay. Alright. I think all our armies have moved. We just have to get our buildings in order. And then we can go to next turn. Okay, this needs to go towards a small city. That's fine. Let's get some more food here. Um, gonna make the iron mine a little bit stronger. He oh, actually, we don't have the right. Yeah, we do. Oh, actually, that's the one I want. Between the two choices. Okay, more food here. Taiyuan. Okay. Tea parlor. All right. We're down to almost no gold. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I think I'm good. Let's continue to next turn. All right, Leodai's forces is attacking our farmland. We forgot to trade it away. Um, it's a little bit awkward because our units are fairly depleted. Seems like we're probably going to have to just lose it. Uh, let's see. Uh, 30 units each is really not fighting condition. They have about twice the men. We do have towers, so there is a fighting chance. Let me give it a shot. Uh, probably going to cut this out, but let's see how it goes. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. We have deployables and we have caltrops, so there is still a fighting chance here. Where are the enemy, though? They must be behind the tree line. Wow, we actually can't see where the enemy are. Well, given the AI deployment for us, I'm guessing the enemy is largely over there. Uh, regardless, we're going to gather everyone up here. 
Uh, in order for us to win this fight, we just have to maximize the amount of time they spend outside and uh, get our troops a fighting chance here. We're going to put spikes at the door just to uh, slow down enemy cavalry if they feel like coming through. Getting them deployed is extremely difficult. There we go. If they're coming from this way, we're going to put some here. We might as well double stack them. Because uh, each horse will destroy one as they ran them over. So here we go. Okay, they don't listen very well. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Uh, as for the fire. Hmm. The fire is a little bit interesting. Uh, we could put them here. It is very narrow. So they can't really avoid it. But that also means we have to sacrifice some people here to light it up. Which is okay, I guess. We can sacrifice a few of these units. Um, police Spear Warriors, just because they're slow. 34 speed. Same speed as the Captain. Uh, Z Militias are rather fast. So we're going to get Z Militias out moving here what we're gonna do is have them attract the enemy outside so these are 34 as well so these are, this group right here is our uh, fast runners here we're gonna have the Z militia dump cow traps inside before leaving and we're gonna sacrifice our spear warriors here we're gonna have them throw cow traps and light fires and die uh, archers and the captain will be unit number two. Uh, they're here so we have some morale points. We're going to have them run out the opposite direction. So give them more time to run. And that's it. I think we're ready to try to fight this one. Let's hope it works out. And it sucks that we can't see enemy units. Alright, we're going to throw these over here yep gonna throw these over here gonna move move them over here to light the first fire they'll light the second fire uh, what we're gonna do is have them run out have them run out Let's throw another one here. And then we're going to run. Alright, we're going to have them try to run out this way. Alright, time to light it up. Now the infantry is going to just walk by these. When the cavalry try to come in, like the generals, they'll get damaged. Alright, we threw the fire. We're going to hold it right next to the fire. Alright, we're trying our best here. Let's get them running out. They're out. We'll go meet them. This group will loop around back to the entrance over here. Alright, we wiped out the cavalry. Let's fight these guys here in between the fire. Uh, the general is going to be the main issue here. Can we fight them here? So we'll just wait by the fire. Yeah. Poor guys. They're just trailing through here. That's fine. Alright, they gotta run out. Go that way. Meet this group here. You guys are now part of team two. 
All right, fight them off. They're just waiting for the fire to end. Uh, there, some of them are burning, but uh, don't chase into. Okay, the fire is gone. I might as well get one good charge on them. Oh, she cow traps. We'll let them step on those. I don't know what they're doing. Well, the archer is out of ammo. That's good news. Because our archers still have ammo. Let's go fight them from the flank. We can beat them. The generals, I'm not sure how we're going to beat, but we'll try. How many more ammos do you have? One more shot, okay. Alright, they're just moving through the cow traps. We're going to let them do that if that's all they want to do. See, they're routing. Uh, we're going to move back here. We want to guide them towards the wall. This group we can wipe out with our archers. Alright, let's try to fight them. Uh, if the generals participate, then we're done. Maybe we can knock her off her horse. Brace, brace, brace. Nope. Well, get as much damage as we can. Nope. That's fine. It'd be nice if they come out and chase us. And go to here, maybe? Get a few shots on them. Because they're not facing us, so the archer should be able to do damage without range block chance here. Come on, guys. There we go. Yes. Stand clustered so we get more shots on people. Alright, Z militias then. Their shields facing the wrong way. They don't have shields, but the ones that do. We still have some counter. This one we throw pretty poorly. We should have thrown here. These little spikes. So whenever one unit step on them, it'll disappear. And then when they all disappear, the symbol is gone. See, there's still one here. But I think we threw them too close to the side of the wall. Okay, actually, let's move here. If they're not coming out, we might as well get a good angle. Right now, the tower is kind of blocking a lot of our shots. Might as well come back. Feels like we can actually fight these generals. I mean, added together, we probably have one full unit of archers here, so not that strong.
Yeah, we're not killing enough. Alright. I don't want to run out of ammo. If they're willing to come out, it'd be great. It'd be great if they chase us. That's how we can win this fight with towers. Now this group, we can destroy. We can save the ammo actually. We can just rush them with our infantry. We still have cow traps on these infantry as well, so uh, except for these two, but we have two more that we can use and two more here. So when the enemy charge out, we have a chance. All right, if they're going towards that gate, then we're gonna want to capture this gate back. Hurry up. Alright, they routed. Let's not waste any time. Pull back. We're gonna throw these. Uh, I don't know where they're gonna approach us. Here would probably be safest. Uh, first pull them out. Uh, let's not shoot at the routing troops. Alright, we're gonna throw some here. And then we're gonna throw some at the door after they leave. There we go. And then we're gonna try to defend here a little bit. Alright, let's get over here. Just recapture it. Alright, I want these guys to route so they don't step on any of our precious cow traps. Okay, they routed. Oh, they changed their mind because they see us capturing. That's fine. We'll pull them out. We're going to have them come over here. We'll group together. We'll make a last stand here. Yes, walk through these, please. Yeah, we put them too far on that side. Should have put it more in the middle. I mean, the result here is we're probably going to just outlast them for the whole time. If the timer goes down to zero, we win this because we're on defense. Oh, they captured the flag. So dropped him morale on everyone. That kind of sucks. All right. We have more of these here. Time to hold. Oh, did I miss fire here? I didn't want to throw some there. But I guess we did. Alright, let's hope this works. They do have shields, but they have to mine. They have to hold their shield up high and then watch their footing here. Here they come, here they come. Run through the spikes, please. Alright, watch these spikes disappear as they walk over them. 
There's one. Oh, he's dead. Spikes, spikes. There we go. Yeah, this one is a misfire. Where are the spikes here? Can't even see them. Alright, brace guys, brace. Alright, you guys, you guys without the ammo, come over here. Flank them. Alright, now we just have somehow killed the general. Nope, didn't dismount her. Alright, mad clicking time. Didn't dismount her here either. Dropped our armor. Come on. Keep firing. Alright, archers probably just have to go to melee mode. There's no relationship, so at least they don't get a heal. Let's kill one first. There we go. Alright, everyone on her. She has unbreakable. Liu Dai's daughter right here. Look at her health drop with each click. Come back. Surround her. We're going to get one unit to go capture the tower. Uh, we're going to step over our own cow trap. So we're going to go to the right corner here. Because we need to capture the tower so we'll fight her. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Everyone but that unit. There we go. Well, she's going to die anyways. The tower is just insurance. There we go. Alright, we held. We held. Alrighty. There we go. We held here. Intimidation. We'll just get income. Alrighty. Yuan Shao requests Liu Dai to join their war against Yuan Yao. Poor guy. We got a weapon this time. Just a silver one. Dutiful, trustworthy, okay. So our main thing is to wipe out Huang Zhu. And after we wipe him out, I think we can actually sue for peace with Yuan Shao. Liu Bei didn't take the city last turn. So we might give him one more turn to finish it off. Because they're guaranteed to take it. And then we'll force Yuan Shao to just have these land over here. Oh, he also has Shang Dan. Oh, hmm. We might want to take it back for our vassal here. So I guess we can stop thinking about peace. We're just going to keep going to war. Now, Gong Sun Zan's force... Uh, Jiang Qin? Oh, Jiang Qin's in the game. He should be part of the Kingdom of Wu, uh, but here he is. And he shouldn't be thir 38 in the year, let's see, 212. Uh, that, that's possible. He was a participant during the Tribi battle, Battle Red Cliff, so that's 208. So four years after that, 38. That still makes sense. Um, let's see here. We can ignore it for a little bit they're sieging the city but we have help coming what we need to do is switch administrators once again and put him over here after next turn they're just waiting for uh, to farm rebels 
Maybe we could peace out with Gongsun Zan at this point. Right. Actually, we can. That's that's good. We don't have He Dong. Wait, He Dong is controlled by who? Gongsun Zan. Yep. The copper mine. And then Taiyuan Iron Mine is also controlled by him. We can work out a deal. These are the two we want. I don't really want this. And then... Ah, uh, we can't cohere for peace, so we can actually work out a peace deal first and then trade land after. Right. Okay, let's first get a peace deal with him. He doesn't have any vassals. Well, he's in alliance with Korun. Okay, so we get peace deal with Korun too. Well, we could. Um, let's see. We can give him one food. That's the standard offering here. And then what else can we get? We can give him money. He's poor. He's very bad at developing his land, even though he has a lot of um, administrative slots. All right, we're just going to do flat cash then. Probably a couple thousand. Maybe 2,000. Wow, he's asking for a lot. Okay, 3,000? Okay. That's fine. We'll peace out with him, and then we'll trade territories. And our relationship is trending better, so we can wait to trade territories. So the siege is done. Fix this up. We're going to pull our army back. Because we no longer need to be here. We need to trade this territory away. So we're going south. Seems like war in the north is finally over. Except for Yuan Shao. Yuan Shao, we still want to beat up a little bit. Alright, we're trespassing here. Sorry. Alright. So this army can attack them. They also have siege weapons. But I think we can just save some time now that we only have one enemy in the north. So I just delegate this. Alrighty. Oh, capture Yuan Changning. Probably a son that was born after the game started. He is actually quite decent. We're gonna recruit him. We'll take extra income. Right, yeah. Yuan Shao doesn't have any more armies left. We're going to pull him back towards here, though. He needs to get a revamp on his army. His army is really bad. We're going to get this army to take Shangdan. Let's talk to Koron. Your ally already peaced out with us. You don't want peace with us? I guess he doesn't. That's fine. Hmm. Can we get a trade deal with um, We might need to wait till our relationship trend a little bit better before we get any deal with him. Okay. Is he getting closer? We've been wiping his army out. No, he's getting farther. He was 33, now he's 37. Actually... Wait, wait, wait. Does this mean... No, nah, we can't offer him anything for that. He has to agree, right? I was like, can we actually just get 37 points? That's not very hard. Alright, we'll basically get the Lions of the Lotus Tree to stop hating us. 
Coalition of the Great Plains. Okay. Coalition that defends the West. We have the West. What are they defending? Alright, so diplomatically, things are getting a lot better. No longer at war with all of this. And we'll trade some territories over in a few turns. We're going to continue to fight Yuan Shao then. Seems like we can probably beat him down farther. Alright, let's go back into the central plains here. Let's wipe out Huangzhou. Now he does have a big garrison here, but they don't have ammo, or they don't have m much ammo on their units. Uh, night battle, although I want to give, they have trebuchets as well, hmm. They have a military infrastructure building, so hold on, continue siege. We're gonna send them over because I want Sima Yi to level up. So let's get more fight here. All right, we're gonna jump into here. Yeah, we're just gonna cut this out. It's not that interesting. Uh, I'm just debating if we want to delegate this. We'll take some losses, but we should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. There's no enemies nearby. We'll just save some time here. Yeah. Not much loss. Mainly on the cavalry. Not not a big deal. Occupy. Alright, Huangzhu has an army, so they're not officially dead. Tenacity of Steel. Alright. They are collecting taxes here. Interesting. Uh, we don't want to do that. I don't really want this commander. I guess we can plant food here. Let's do that. Yeah, I think we're fine. We can hold this. I don't think I need to trade it to Liu Bei. Sun Jian has two locations here. It's a little annoying, but I think we're just going to go straight down south. Dad's in the water. I don't know where he will land, but at least we have an army as a backup. Alright, this we'll just delegate. Alrighty. Del Tran leveled up. Um, we already have reach. I think Wisdom the River is probably best here. I mean, we can have Surin just go straight for it. Right, she can cross the river, get to Puyang, and start attacking the city. She might need some help. This is no joke. So, Li Bu needs to get moving too. We can't reach him, so we just stay in the city. Right. Let's see. Down south. That army's in the water. Don't have to worry about them. Um, continue siege. We're going to move the other army closer so we take less casualties. There we go. Ah, uh, we wasted two points. It's okay. That's acceptable. Uh, just want to upgrade the spice. This is out of place. Okay, everything else looks pretty good. We just need to... Yep, this tea parlor already, so that's good. Tongwu City... Alright, we might spread out these two armies. We can start sending them towards Hopul's fishing port now. And they can go towards Gaoliang over here. 
and then they can get into the water and sail right back the Pearl River. Seems like we're doing okay. Wu has armies coming this way, but we get this to a city, we should be fine. Uh, let's see, we still have more army. Yeah, this one's just sitting pretty. This one's sitting pretty. Alright, these are good. We can almost build this, but Jincheng needs to get this up. Uh, why are we wasting time on this building? We need to be building this. Oh, I guess this does give spice income, so not entirely a waste of time. Private workshop. Mm, tea parlor. Alright, this doesn't matter. We're trading the city away anyways, so... We could just upgrade the free building for them. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think we're good. Let's go to next turn. Wait, what's going on here? Alright, open administrator slot. That's next turn, because Guo Si is still out of commission until next turn. Continue? Okay, river landing to attack our trade port. Ooh. I don't think we can beat them. Trade port. Actually, trade port. Probably defensible. They just have a lot of units. Let's give it another shot here. Alrighty. We're loaded up in this one. Uh, why does it always have to rain when we need to fight battles with fire? So they are choosing to attack through two of the gate here. Let me think. Let's pull everyone back first. Not many range units here. Two range unit. Three total. Cavalry from both groups, so... What we're going to do is put spikes here again. To kill those cavalry. Um, one unit here... I'm just worried that they will send cavalry through both of these doors. I'm actually going to put the other spikes here. That unit can be killed by archers, I'm pretty sure. That lancer. This one I'm kind of worried about. This one in the back here. Um... Let me think. Maybe here. Maybe we'll just guard both doors. And then we'll pull our units a little bit over here so they'll come over here. Fire-wise, we're definitely going to start a fire around here. And over here, we're going to start a fire around here. Or here might be even better. On the steps. What we're going to do is have all our range units lined up here uh, we can spread them out a little bit better we're just trying to hold these two towers basically alright we're gonna have our saber infantry throw cow traps here and guard it we need a suicidal guy, maybe him with 49 health, to light this fire and to absorb some crossbow shots and throw some cow traps in the front. Um, this poor fella. Actually, these four. I guess two here. Actually, these have low health. These two can guard here. And guard this entrance. 38 speed. We could try to loop them out. See if they will follow. And then we need one group just guarding this side. So we don't get flanked. Um, yeah, I think this is probably the best we can do. Let's call these guys too. See if we can attract their attention and drag them out a little bit. Start battle.
Let's throw these out here first. See, they might not come through here. Actually, let's see where they come through first before we throw anything. Yeah, I'm worried about this unit right here. But if we can get it to loop with us, our towers could just wipe it out. They're not moving. All right, this fire seems wasted. Yeah, if the fire was here, it'd probably be better. Well, they're losing crossbowmen fast. Not complaining. And we did attract some people over. Alright, we just need to stay within our arrow range. Let them chase us. Here they come, here they come. Okay. I'll throw them outside. Slow them right here real quick. And then I'm gonna run them back. Alright, they threw it. Time to run, time to run. We'll run this way. Yeah, this is uh, not good odds for us. They're staying outside of range, which is a little annoying here. They come. We'll just have to burn them all here. We'll wait to light the fire. We'll wait till they're all clumped up here. Maximize our fire damage. Alright. Get over here. And then he can throw his cow traps. They're purposely staying out of range. So there's no reason for us to stay out here. They can flank them. Alright. They're getting killed. Alright. There goes this tower group. They need to patiently wait here for them to commit before running back. Okay, they're sending a lot of guys this way, including that cavalry unit. We might have to get all our guys to shoot at that cavalry unit. Alright, we need to do that now. Throw it. Got to kill that horses before they get too much charge speed on us. Oh, they're just going for this group. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's not do that, please. Alright, we kill the horses here. Go back to killing the horses here, please. No, don't go this way. There we go. Fight us. Fight us. Alright, might as well light the fire. Alright, 
Did we light the fire? No? Light it. Someone throw a torch. Come on. Not that hard. Alright. Now turn around and fight them. Yeah, they just have too many generals. What can we do? Alright, the fire is buying us a little bit of time, but not much. Yeah, they're dying. We'll just kill as many people as we can. Uh, these, uh, probably these guys. Just charging it right at us. Nice. Maybe we can kill one of this Lady Wu But that's just her resiliency She's rank 5 Nope, we're done That's it Failed defense here Alrighty. 15 intimidation loss is fine. We were at 100. Um, they did lose a lot of men. We gotta send an army back to wipe them out before they replenish up. Alrighty, we lost the trade port. Uh, basically, Kingdom of Wu was playing guerrilla warfare with us. Uh, Liu Huimin's up for recruit. Liu Dai dumped her? Just because we beat her? Oh wait, she wasn't part of Liu Dai's faction. She married him. Wait, who was fighting us? I think it was Liu Dai. Alright, we beat them at the farmland and then Liu Dai dumped her. How could he be so cruel? Alright, no one has Baron trait. Oh, what is that? Bright? Okay. Not what we're looking for. Um, let's see. Liu Bei finished off Yuan Shao's territory there. Let's see if they're willing to sign a peace deal with us. We'll move this army back a little bit to our own territory so we can find an army for them. Right, he's willing now. And we have him pretty much contained where we want him. And then we can peace out with um, his... Vassals, Gong Sun Du, Huang Zhu, Tao Ying, Wang Shu. Right. Um, what can we offer him? 5.3, we can do a lot of things here. Yeah, let's just offer him one food. And I don't know how he has poor food. He has some of the best food commanders in the game. I guess he just built way too tall. Alright, 2.5 for food. That's amazing. And let's just start out with um, 2,500. Close. Close. Alright, another 3,000 gold for peace. I am down for that. Everyone likes it, except for Jia Long's old faction, that's fine. So, peace in the north. Peace in the north. Now we just have to send Liu Bei on Liu Dai. And then work out a peace deal with Kong Rong. His army is snaking through the river here. 
They are really in no fighting shape, but they're still going for it. Good for them. Our garrisons are ready here. No worries. Um, we can pick a new reform. Let's do that. Hmm. What should we go for? Twenty percent from commerce. Level five mines there. We also need a level five copper mine here. That will actually help us a lot, but that's a lot of turns. Level five in building also very attractive. Twenty percent redeployment cost might be good. Because we can start shifting some of our northern armies to the south for free. Let's get this. Um, let's see. What should we do with these northern armies? So this one here. Since we want to give them new units, right? We're gonna want we wanna replace swap them to better units. We might as well delete them and then send this army as is cheaper uh, down south. We can keep everyone here. We can keep these and get rid of these. So let's get rid of them. Alright, we're gonna recall all three of them. Over here, we're gonna put Guo Si in here. He's back on duty. We'll try to trade Tai Yuan. Man, you hate us, huh? Um. Nope, no chance of that. Doesn't hurt to check. We'll give you this. Okay, he's happy to do that, but first we gotta pull our army out so we don't trespass on him. These three can also be recalled. We're gonna send them south as well. We're gonna keep this army nearby though. They have to kind of take care of the north. Someone has to take care of the north. They will just guard Taiyuan. Uh, this army here, I think we can actually get into the river, and then we can sail them down south, or we can just recall, and then summon them again, just cost a little bit of gold. Alright, let's recall this force. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we reduce our army by too much, he might not respect our deal. We still have to consider that factor. There we go. Alright, good. Wonderful. 950 income. Here, we want to swap this. There we go. They're building it wrong. Now we can recall the rest of these. We're going to shift all of them down south. Okay, so down south right now... We lost the trade port here. Can we give you guys a new target? Can you go take take them out? Uh, that way we can focus on the other battles down south. Um, this army in the front. Charge over there. Charge over there. You can probably be on march. There we go.
All right, Lu Bu's army. Huang Zhu's last piece here. I don't have to waste time on it. Let's get them as close as reinforcement range. Yep. And then we'll just wipe them out. Okay. Uh, we don't want to decrease recruitment, so just gonna do nothing here. Farm, please. Um, we're at the river. Sun Jian has popped back on. It's a very annoying. Well, none of them can take. I mean, if he goes for this, then we're in trouble. We just have to trail behind now. Guess we'll look for dad. How old is Huang Gai? 58? 45. Okay. We're going to give Liu Bei a new target too. Oh, I'm going to ask him to wipe out Liu Dai. Are we? Oh, we're not at war with Liu. He's not at war with Liu Dai. Okay. We're at war with Liu Dai. If that's the case, um. This is a hard target, even for that army. Maybe just start attacking Yangzhou. Just wipe out these two last uh, territory he has on the north. That way he can't summon any new armies here. Okay. That's fine. We pieced out over here. I'm going to start moving this army up north just in case Korun gets any ideas. Alright, what to do with this army? They are too weak to matter. We can start sailing towards the trade port. We can delegate that fight. Hold on. Right, we can attack the trade port next turn. All right, that's all the army positioning here. Let's look through the buildings one more time. I'm going to rush it. Just so that I can finally upgrade this to silk. Nanyang. Okay. We'll do tea parlor first. Alright, we're short on money, basically. Okay. That's fine. I think we got everything done. And we can start summoning some new armies in the south very, very soon. Where do we have a conscription building? I think we have one here. No, we don't. We had one in Ijo, but I tore that down. I thought we had another army summoning location down south. Maybe not. Maybe I tore all of them down. Yeah, I did. So we can't really recruit any high level units down south. Hmm, I guess rank 2 units aren't that bad. I guess I'll summon them here then. Because the key target is the capital. So we're going to just pour in from the north here. Alright, let's go to the next, uh, next turn. Alright, Dong Qi has come of age. Another one of Dong Zhuo's son. We're going to end our episode here. Uh, next episode, we're officially going to cross the Yangtze River and start our assault on Wu's mainland here. Um, things are going pretty well. This time, this episode, we mainly achieved peace in the north. 
and we're going to focus all our attention on Kingdom of Wu next episode. We might be able to wipe him out uh, depending on how fast we go uh, during the next episode. So waiting for the end. See you guys next time. Bye.